Big with Steve Bartilla. Brought to you by... Hopefully many of you have figured out over the years, when I'm filming these things, the reason I, I'm actually out here working, I'm doing this stuff. I film what I do. Right now, I happen to be wearing an orange hat because it's opening day of gun season. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about gun hunting. There's a reason I'm back in camp right now. It's midday on opening day. The reason, I'm hunting Utopia. The first thing I do when it comes to firearms hunting I gauge the amount of pressure that property is receiving. If I'm hunting absolutely pummeled public ground, I am taking a completely different approach than when I'm hunting a property I manage like this one. When hunting moderate to low pressure deer with a rifle or shotgun or muzzleloader for that matter, my first question is, is how much pressure is that property receiving? Because that is going to dictate how I go ahead and approach this hunt. Now, when I'm talking about a property, I'm talking about 40 acres or better. If we're talking five acres, this isn't gonna apply. On a 40 acre or better property of deer cover, if it does not have hunting pressure, I don't really care how much banging is going on around me because what they're doing is they're going ahead and nudging these deer to that safe spot. And if it was safe last year, you can bet they remember the ones that were two and a halfs, three and a halfs last year. Okay. In those situations, what I do is I, in, if it's a very small property, I may be set up on where I expect the neighbors to push them into my ground. If it's a larger property, what I'm probably doing is I'm, I'm bow hunting it. Yes, I'll go ahead and I'll take that stand that I can shoot 100, 150 yards over the one I can shoot 30 if everything is equal. But if not, if I believe I'm going to go ahead and meet Mr. Big at that bow stand that I can only shoot 30 yards in every direction, but I've got one over here that I can see for miles, I'm going to that 30 yard stand. I go ahead on moderate to low pressure deer during gun season, I bow hunt them. Hunting natural movement or if I'm on a smaller property, I might set up on one of those spots where the neighbors are shoving those deer into me, at least on opening morning. Now, when it comes to pressured ground, that's a completely different animal there. If I'm hunting that public ground or that uncle's farm that he lets everybody and anybody go back in there and hunt, the neighbors are banging around, what I'm actually gonna do is I am going to do my best to get to where those deer are going to be pushed. Okay, preferably where no one else goes. Okay. When you can set up in that type of spot, you get there before everybody, before anybody else shows up. I get up in that stand and I am set before that next vehicle pulls into that parking lot. And then what do I do? All I do is sit there all day, do nothing to draw any attention to me whatsoever. So that way, every single time, that other hunter doesn't pay attention to his wind on the walk in. Every time he doesn't pay attention or she doesn't pay attention to their wind while they're hunting. When they get cold and get up and start to walk around, when they go back for lunch, when they come back after lunch, when they decide to eat, eat their lunch out on the stand with that pepperoni sandwich and that coffee and spit. Everybody's doing a deer drive to me. I am sitting in that stand until I shoot or until darkness comes. And I'm doing nothing to bring any attention to me whatsoever. Instead, I'm letting everybody out there do deer drives for me. Final thoughts, brought to you by Huntworth. When it comes to firearms hunting, the very first thing I do is I gauge the amount of pressure that property is getting. If it's a 40 acre or bigger property, I'm either gonna set up where the neighbors are gonna push the deer into my property on, or I'm going to simply bow hunt them. And I will select the stands that I believe offer me the best chance of meeting Mr. Big that offer a safe wind. Does not matter how far I can shoot. Unless everything's equal, then I go for range. When it comes to public ground or any type of pressured ground, Instead, I'm going to where I believe the deer are going to go. I'm getting there before anybody else and I'm sitting until I shoot or 
darkness comes. As always, take what you see of value, discard the rest, and good luck out there.